In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert any content that's audio in a video or just audio in, in and of itself into any language. これは AI のすごい使い方で、今まで使った中で一番素晴らしい AI ツールの人、ピナカマ現代 AI ツールスでね、ガメット。ヒリクナマ変態な一匹ずつとせよ。シムランになってないビデオ。Hey there, if we haven't met yet, I'm Neil Smith, your social media guide, and I am so excited to show you this new software platform, Eleven Labs. Now, it's not that new, but it's been progressing a lot and become more and more popular. And one of the things people are seeing and they're hearing is I'm seeing these videos of somebody speaking a different language, but it looks and sounds like they're saying it, but I know. They don't speak that language and it's using this kind of technology. And Eleven Labs has been on the forefront of this audio translation technology. Now, it can do a lot of other things other than translate, but I think the most common, most popular use is being able to take your podcast, being able to take your YouTube videos and just instantly plug it into this platform and then let it output、uh, the content in the different languages for you. This is mind blowing.、Uh, and, and so I can't wait to show it to you. So let's first start by jumping onto their website. All right. So here we are on the Eleven Labs homepage. And I just want to walk through kind of how they communicate who they are and what they do. So Eleven Labs、uh, basically creates the most realistic speech with our AI audio platform, pioneering research in text to speech, AI voice generator. And more. And so it's an audio platform、uh, that's using AI.、Uh, and, and one of the things this actually does is a lot of people are uncomfortable putting their face, camera, or even their voice,、uh, but you can literally even type anything and it will then generate it in a voice. And I think we've heard and seen videos that sound very robotic. But this technology is progressing quickly. And so it's not all super robotic. It's actually、uh, can be very realistic. And then they get down here and you can actually see how this works. They let you just test the platform、uh, right here. And these are kind of the core functions of their software. So the first is text to speech. So I could say it, type anything. And now I can just push play and I can actually choose any of these people. So let's have Bill say it. Create a test audio segment for me. So there's Bill saying this, or I could choose Charlotte、uh, saying whatever I want her to say. Create a test audio segment for me. Okay, so that's text to speech. So I could literally type anything. And one of the things that people can use to create this is you can actually build a whole podcast on this where you could have ChatGPT write a script for you and then have one of their AI voices. Uh, speak it for you. Now I can go speech to speech as well. So let me try starting a recording. This works. Well, test.、Uh, did you hear that? I think someone is following us. This is a test, by the way. Okay, false alarm. It was just a squirrel. So now we could have Alice, Bill, or George speak this. Let's go with George. Give them a minute to process. Well, test.、Uh, did you hear that? I think someone is following us. This is a test, by the way. Okay, false alarm. It was just a squirrel. Okay, so it is using the what I spoke and then auto translating it or auto not translating it, but auto、uh, converting it to somebody else's voice. And so it doesn't sound like me, but it's using my inflections、uh, that, that I'm using and, and translating it. Let me have Alice speak it、uh, in her voice, the same thing that I said. And so it is converting my voice to her voice. Communicating the same thing in this audio segment. Well, test.、Uh, did you hear that? I think someone is following us. This is a test, by the way. Okay, false alarm. It was just a s q u i r r e l Okay, and so as you hear that, it doesn't sound very robotic, does it?、Uh, but that is an AI generated voice.、Uh, so impressive. So text to speech, speech to speech, now dubbing.、Uh, this is where I believe most people are using it,、uh, what I am most excited about. So、uh, here's a sample of a podcast. I'm going to just hit play, and you can hear him communicating in both English、uh, and then in, I believe that's Italian. I've interviewed some of the best CEOs in the world, and I'm fascinated by leadership. Pasand hai. Or jo cheez mujhe sabse achhi lagi hai, wo ye thi ki jab aap Australia cricket team ki leadership ke baare mein sochte hain, to aap apni leadership ke
quip style today. Okay. So just like that, it was able to just switch between uh, English and uh, Italian. I'm going to say Italian. Uh, I apologize if I'm looking and seeing the flag wrong, but it is. Uh, yeah. So that is how it just dubs uh, that your voice. And it actually I have multiple voices, but it sounds just like the person that was speaking. But then in their voice, in their tone, in their inflection, it's being translated. And even when you watch that video, it looks like he's speaking that language so it aligns it so well uh it's pretty incredible now this is a cool feature this text to special effects and so i'm gonna ask it to um it a um paper clip falling off a desk onto a tile floor so let's see what it generates here for us so you can literally create any sound effect that you wanted to create, and it will then generate those sound effects for you. Okay, let's check out the sound effects. Generation number one. Let's do that again. Number two. Okay, just a little quiet drop there. Okay, that sounded like a few paper clips falling. There you go. And I would go with number four. But it would give you actually options of which, you know, as you had that that sound effect in mind, which which what did you have that sounding like? Uh, but it can actually generate any kind of sound effect that you come up with. Uh, and then this is voice cloning. And so let's let's take a look at a few of these different uh, voice clones. All right, so get this. I'm at this new cafe downtown, trying to act all sophisticated with an espresso. All right, so get this. I'm at this new cafe downtown, trying to act all sophisticated with an espresso, you know. And I'm sitting there, scrolling through my phone. Sherlock Holmes's quick eye took in my occupation, and he shook his head with a... Sherlock Holmes's quick eye took in my occupation. And he shook his so head with a what smile. this is doing is it's essentially taking and learning somebody's voice and then being able to convert that into, uh, you know, where you could just text to speech uh, in, in anything else that you wanted to say once it learns your voice and has that clone file available. So, yeah, so those are kind of the core features of the app and how they work. And then uh, you, you can see some of their other messaging of vo voices fit for all of your ideas. Uh, and you can essentially create your cloned voice to then use uh, for anything, making any content universally accept, accept, accessible, uh, not, not acceptable, uh, but accessible. Uh, and this is a just one of the most powerful things about AI is that we can now take our message and globally allow anybody anywhere to to watch it. And this thing, Mr. Beast, uh, has has been well known for is translating uh, and using voice actors in his case his content uh, into multiple languages and then getting lots of engagement beyond uh, the U.S. through uh, that that translation. And so this is, I believe, doing this even more effectively because I think when people can actually hear uh, the person speaking in their inflection and their voice, it will be a much more natural experience rather than uh, voice actors, you know, uh, you know, speaking on behalf and or translating the content and then co complete voice AI tool set. So you have so many different uh, functions uh, there. And then this is one of the things I really like about 11 Labs is you can tell and they're communicating this on their homepage that safety is important to to, to them. Uh, and, and I think one of the dangers of AI is that uh, people will be able to essentially rip off our voices and make things sound like us when it wasn't actually us saying them. And so they, they have built into their platform safety features and they are prioritizing this in their development. And uh, I, I am grateful to see this uh, because I do think this is an important uh, aspect of AI development. And then they, they share some case studies here. So let's jump into uh, the platform itself and the software. Uh, and what I want to, uh, in, when you first get here, it, it goes right to the text-to-speech or speech-to-speech uh, that you want to create. Uh, and then you go here to the right-hand uh, side and you can see the different options of what do you want to create voices, sound effects, uh, speech, uh, or getting in here to workflows uh, and dubbing studio is, is the main feature that I, I wanted to highlight. I, I do want to also just highlight this other tool uh, real quickly, voice isolator. 
um and just a cool cool thing where you can upload any of your files that you create if you recorded a podcast so this isn't about translation but it just cleans up uh the audio for you uh with eliminating background noise and i just did some testing of this previously and it just it did an incredible job and so there's some you know adobe has uh a, something similar to this and there's some other tools out there but cool to see that they've incorporated that into their platform uh but let's let's jump into the dubbing studio and so this is where you can translate social media content youtube videos marketing assets educational videos uh whatever content you have you can then uh convert it so i'm going to take uh one of the video that i created um and so i'm going to title this nils um uh what is it called i'll just put it called mr beast video translated and so i did a video recently where i uh and let's translate this to spanish um and i i made a video of mr beast um and uh, about his new software platform and so then i can go here and i can literally just upload the file or i could just go to youtube so i'm going to pull this from youtube um and it checks that it's creating a dubbing studio project and add a watermark to reduce character usage by 33 percent okay well I'll allow that you can actually uncheck that or you can number of speakers auto detect that uh i'm gonna just put well there actually i think there's some clips of mr beast on there video resolution highest uh extra time of dubbing uh time range for dubbing we'll just let it be all there and yeah so let's go to create so just like that, it took my YouTube video that was in English, and now it's creating a Spanish version of that. And so, uh, yeah, so that is processing. We'll give that a minute to process, and then we'll come back and show you the out outcome. Okay, so it just finished dubbing the video, and you can see here status dubbed, and I can just go here to view it. Uh, and so it's going to pull up here. But while I do that, uh, I thought I'd just go ahead and show you the original video. So let me share this tab and said, so this is the video. So watch the first little bit and then I'll show you how it translated it. Offer a platform called ViewStats and I subscribe to it so you don't have to. Maybe you want to. In this video, I'm gonna dive into every aspect of the software and whether I think it's a good investment for you. You're a YouTuber. Okay, so you let's go YouTube. back now and see what the 11 Labs translated video looks and sounds like. Mr. Beast acaba de lanzar su nueva plataforma de software llamada ViewStats y me suscribí para que no tengas que hacerlo. Tal vez tú quieras hacerlo. En este video voy a profundizar en todos los aspectos del software y si creo que es una buena inversión para ti, si eres un YouTuber y quieres hacer crecer tu canal. Okay, Hola, si so conocemos, you can soy... see there that it pretty well translated and used my voice uh, to translate it just with a YouTube link. And that's how easy this is. And if you have a podcast or you have YouTube videos that you want translated uh, and it's giving you the full video and I can just download it and now upload it to YouTube or download it and pull the audio out and upload that to the various podcast platforms and it's done for me. And yeah, this is really good. And and from the, the reviews I've gotten from translators that have looked at it is the, the stat that I heard. Now, please don't quote me on this uh, as, as factual, but the stat I've heard is that human translators are about 92% accurate and AI translation is about 97% accurate. So a lot of people have said, well, how can I trust the translation? Well, the reality is how can you trust a human translator too? You know, they, they're going to make mistakes. And what's kind of being, being proven out is they generally make more mistakes than an AI translation, you know, tool does. And, and so, and, and from what I have heard from people that watch, you know, these videos that are translated, uh, that, that they, and that understand both languages that they can track it. And it just feels uh, very natural. And the translation, uh, ha has been very accurate for what, uh, those that are using this kind of software and more specifically 11 labs, um, the accuracy is, is really strong. 
And so this is the beginning of this technology. I don't know how it gets much better than this. It's hard for me to imagine, probably faster. Uh, but but man, this is really good. Um, and one thing I'm even curious about is if you could see even the graphics that have overlays of, could you get that translated within the video too, where it will just auto detect where there's going to be, you know, text overlays and then auto translate uh, that those text overlays and things like that into uh, the the you know different language. We'll see uh, where this goes, but this as where the product is today and how it can be used, incredible. So if you know, you're know you a church and you want to translate your sermons to other languages, if you're an educator and you want to translate your education content, if you're a podcaster and you want to translate that content, what a great tool uh, to do this. And it's, you know, there's a free uh, trial uh, that will only, I think, you know, translate about two or three minutes within the free trial of content. Um, and so I, you know, my plan, I pay $11 a month for, uh, and it gives me, you know, more than I need at this point. Uh, and then they have prices that go up. If you're translating, you know, hundreds of hours of content every month, and that's what you want translated, you have a huge library you want translated, you, you know, you can pay more, uh, but the cost effectiveness as compared to a voice actor and all of that, you know, historically, you know, as I've worked with voice actors in the past, it's about 20 to $30 in a minute of tr for translated content from a voice actor. And so, yeah, this is way more cost effective than that. And I would challenge that this is way better than that too. Uh, so not only is it more cost effective uh, and, and more efficient, uh, it's also more effective uh, in the output that people are going to consume and the experience they're going to have with your video content. So I'm a big fan of this technology. I'm going to be using it uh, for clients uh, here in the very near future. I'm going to be using it uh, for my own content uh, in, in the near future. And I'd encourage you to test it out. I have, I do have an affiliate link for this product. So some products that I talk about, I don't, some I do. Um, 11 Labs was generous enough to share an affiliate uh, offer with me uh, to share with you. And so you can uh, use that link below and go check out 11 Labs, do the free trial, test out kind of the features there on the homepage and see if this is a tool uh, that, that you can begin to integrate into your workflows now. So if you want to get your content into other languages, uh, I've found this to be the best tool uh, so far to get this done. So go give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have other options out there, things you've tried or experimented with or that you use 11 Labs for, I'd love to know. Drop that in the comments. I'll be engaged there and look forward to following uh, along in the conversation and following this technology innovation and, and to see where it goes. Thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you again on the next video.